Yo, 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 you already know who this is, will be. it's Greg G, and this is Greg G Chronicles, thank you guys for tuning in, shout out to all my new subscribers who've been watching my YouTube shorts, I sincerely appreciate that, um, right now I'm just gonna get into it, I'm drinking the Jack Daniels number 7 brand, with a little Coca-Cola, it's a Tennessee whiskey right here, mixed, let's see, in the 7%, so, you know, I mean, I've had beer stronger, I've had uh, Monaco's that are stronger by 2%. Count them a whole two. You know, I just figured this would be a good one right here. Just, um, just to fuck around. And I swear to God, cat. Hey, listen. Look at me. Look at me, fuckhead. If you fuck with my shit, I'm going to fucking get you. Fucking cats, dude. I hate cats. And we got to take them to my house. Because uh, if you don't notice, these aren't the same pictures that I have. This isn't the same couch. I'm in a whole different location now. Let me pour my... Jack Daniels mixed with Coca-Cola in my Coca-Cola glass. Brandy. <laughs> Coke, shout out, what up? <laughs> Laheim. I say Laheim because shout out to my Jewish folks, shoot them love. I know all my fucking, my base <laughs> is like, ah, fuck that, but no. Um, the reason I say that is we gotta stop that Jewish hate shit. I just saw for the first time a commercial that I wouldn't think I'd see in my life where it was like, it's basically the father and the son sitting in a truck and he's like, so you want to say that Hitler was right and that he had good ideas, huh? <laughs> well, then if you want to be like that, I never raised you like that, but if you want to be like that, then you go out there and you go tell them that to their face. So you like taking Jews that don't belong to you, huh? Then here, have a whole carton of Jews. What? And I'm like, what the fuck? And it goes through the rain of the windshield, and it's fucking kids getting out of their little, uh, their Yom Kippur, their Jewish school, just running out like, yeah, umbrellas and shit. And they're like, yeah, rainy day. Oh. <laughs> and then the son is like, I can't. I can't do it, Dad. I'm a fucking pussy. I don't stand with my beliefs like that. I'm just joking around. He doesn't say it, but the face. <laughs> oh, Dad, I'm sorry. And all the dad does is just, you know, caress his son's head like, ah, it's okay, my boy. It's okay, my boy. We're going to fix you. We're going to fix you. <laughs> so I was like, holy shit. Um, that's just the fucking started. Um, God damn it. That was an amazing commercial. Uh, don't hate people just because you think they run the fucking world or they run Hollywood. Who cares? Sorry. I wish the Mexicans would have ran that. We got our, we ran from Border Patrol. Oh, ding. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, Laheim to that. Cheers. Salud. I've been kicking around since I've been canceled, you know, just chilling, enjoying my life, um, living, laughing, learning, loving, all that shit, you know, patow, patow. Um, or maybe, ugh, ugh, that's my lady fucking me from the back, you know, when she pegs me. Not really, no, I fucking, wham! They'd have to put a fucking abuse commercial. Does your lady always try to peg you and you have to go, wham? That'd be more my commercial. <laughs> yeah, let's replace Jewish hate with just good old-fashioned woman abuse jokes. God damn it. Bring it back to the good old days. God damn it. We're trying to make... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no. We're trying to make America great again. Not Germany. Back then. Ah, God damn it. This is a good mix. But like I said, I'm not in my place of locations. But uh, it is what it is. They got neat little coasters like Friends bullshit here. It's very, a lot of very interesting knickknacks and shit. Um, but anyways, that getting to it um, through my cancellation, a lot has happened, you know. Um, I have had diarrhea since last Easter's. I still got diarrhea since this Easter's. It's never going to stop, you know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah, in, in world news today or just, uh, just fucking... Shit that's been going on. The Dalai Lama, you guys. The Dalai Lama. What I, I had a joke. Uh, Dalai, let go of my fucking kid's tongue. Dolly, stop kissing my kid. Lama. Um, <laughs> that's, that's how I would introduce the Dalai Lama. And in this corner we got Dolly, stop kissing my child. Lama. Ah, 
You know, all those fucking bells and shit are going off. And people are like, ugh. But the Dalai Lama has been in trouble for kissing fucking kids. I mean, the first one I saw, he kissed a kid on his lips, right? Tom Brady, I mean, he's like, what, that's all you got? I want you to suck on my tongue. Blah, 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 blah. You know, <laughs> and I was just like, oh my God, dude. The Dalai Lama is a fucking savage, you know. But um, but I bet you, you know what, as a Catholic man, I was happy to see that. I was like, yes, yes. Catholicism isn't the only ones, you sons of bitches. You know, I could just see them at the fucking um, Catholic Church, you know, or at the, at, the, at the Vatican. When that happened, they were like, oh, oh. Oh, yeah! I bet you hella fucking popes or like the Pope and their people threw up their fucking stupid hats and shit like they graduated. <sighs> Just because they were like, we're not the only ones, you sons of bitches. The Dalai motherfucking Lama, the spiritual Buddhist leader. I had to look it up. He was like, because I was like um, talking to kids about this shit or people about it, dude. Like, I was going around work. Did you hear the Dalai Lama kiss a kid? Did you hear the Dalai Lama kiss a kid? Did he hear he also asked him to suck his tongue? And now some people knew about this. Some didn't. Shocked, you know. And now ask me where do I learn the Dalai Lama from? Where do I truly remember learning? I don't know. Maybe it could have been fourth grade spiritual shit. Maybe I want to sound smart and nice. I remember from school. Maybe. But let's be honest. The first mind that came up to me is king of the hill. Because fucking Bobby, Bobby was going to be the fucking next Dalai Lama. And you're like, I don't know if I want to be the Dalai Lama. I hear he got to suck my tongue. I got to suck his tongue to take his Dalai Lama power. But, um, but yeah, so Bobby ends up not being the Dalai Lama because he pretends to choose the thing that he sees, um, which is the girl in the mirror, but the mirror ends up being the Dalai Lama's thing. Because, you know, the Dalai Lama liked to make sure he looked good when he was kissing your kid in the mouth. He at least liked to look good. Unlike um, the Penn State football coach, who land shout out fucking South Park, goddamn it! But um, but <laughs> to the Dalai Lama and the Penn State coach walking to a bar. <laughs> oh man, you know I was trying to think of a lot of jokes like that too. Um, I was even thinking of one for my for my people, the Mexican ones. You know we're hard workers and shit like that, blah blah blah. But my favorite is the Donald Trump label us like. Drug dealers, rapists, and that's the third one I can't remember. Illegal immigrants, right? So I, I was just trying to figure out, like, you know, those kinds of jokes still, too. But just new but old, you know, two Mexicans walk into a bar. And everybody gets high and raped. Pinatas flying everywhere, you know what I mean? But um, ah, it's summer hit, summer miss, you know. But um, back to that, though, the Dalai Lama man shit, if, um, yeah, no, I would just freaking, but anyways, no, the Dalai Lama, um, honestly, I, I, he fucked up, he's a spiritual leader, I looked up for Tibet, um, and I was like, I, I don't know, man, I was just shocked at that shit, I was still more happy for my Catholic church, because I was like, yes, their attendance numbers were so fucking low in Tibet. They were like, bro, we needed this. Our Tibet fucking faculty was fucking running low. The the poor popes and priests, they were just all backed up, dog. They, need to... <laughs> they were just backed up. God damn it. But um but yeah, it was it was cool to see that. Um but if I was that kid, dude, I would have been like, nah, I don't give a fuck if there's cameras. I'm sucking that tongue. <laughs> give me that fucking tongue, bitch. If if you're telling me, I, you know what, fuck it. If you're telling me I'm going to level up spiritually, all I got to do is kiss and suck the Pope's tongue. Not the Pope, goddamn it. See, I'm already used to, I'm see, I'm already brainwashed. I'm saying the Pope, the church got to me. Oh, Santa Maria. But, um... But, uh, no, I'd totally fucking suck and fuck the Dalai Lama, man. I'd be like, yo, you know. And that made me think, who would you rather get fucked by? The Dalai Lama, the Pope, or Gandhi? You know what I mean? You know what, not fuck that shit. Dalai Lama or the Pope? Who would you rather get fucked by? 
And I thought, you know what, man, dude, they're both fucking disgusting and old. That's, that's, that's one of the main things, you know. Not that that's... And I'm going with this acting like it's my free will as a kid. Like, yeah, I get to pick and choose who gets to fuck me. I'm the fucking prophecy anus over here. But, but, but I really struggle with this because they're just so old. But I don't know if this makes me racist or not, but if I was going to have to level up on my spirituality, whether it's between the Pope and the Dalai Lama, I'm sorry, I'm going with the Pope. I don't know, maybe it's because he's white, maybe it's because of his light skin, but some about Indian, brown, I mean, not the Indian women are beautiful, you know, the, the uh, Indian people look good, you know, but the Indian bitches, when they bad, they bad. That's cool, I love it. But uh, I just couldn't picture the old ass Dalai Lama fucking pounding from the back, and I'm just like, oh yeah, so sexy. Oh, yeah. And now, granted, granted, my anus, my anus, would be almost untouched, unfazed by it, I'm sure. You know, because uh, I think it was Mansers that said Indian folks had the smallest we want, you know, and I'm sure there's my Indian folks over there are going to be like, nah, dude, I got a fucking hog, bro. This shit's a fucking, like, oh, I got a bite on there, I tell you. Oh, but you know what? He was Asian, Tibetan, I don't know. You know what though, but he looked less Asian and more, it's in Asia, you know, some shit like that, I think, I don't know. I'm not a geologist. I'm not a person who does that. I'm a, I'm a podcaster. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I choose the Pope. Yeah, he's probably going to have a fucking schlong gifted to him by God, not Buddha, but, uh, uh I don't know. I'm just going to stick with the home team. I'd rather get fucked by some guy I feel like I know more than this is the Dalai Lama. I don't even know that motherfucker like that. You feel me? Cheers. I'm going to need it to get pounded out by the Pope. <laughs> but yeah, leading into that, that, that just this shit just reminds me of my friend Brett. Now, my friend Brett, he works with me at work. Um... He, we, we just chit chat, you know, and sometimes I talk to people about the shit I'm going to do on my podcast. Sometimes I just bullshit and fuck around. I just try to think of shit and then uh, I don't write it down so it gets scratched out the list. Bro, so much funny shit is said right here or some stupid shit that people want me to put on my fucking podcast and it's like, no, but some are funny, but then I don't remember. Like my friend Mike, he always gives me good fucking jokes. But then shitty fucking horrible jokes, like, no, I would never put that on my podcast. But then some that are so shitty, they're fucking funny, and it's like, all right. Like, he tried to work out, and it was given by his wife, Sammy, beautiful, nice woman, you know. Um, it was one of those, do you know Chata? Do you know Chata? No, not Chata, fuck up. Do you know Chata? She's a whore. Chata's a whore, because... Horror chata. Ha 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 You know what I mean? It's, that's a bad joke to where you're going to need a fake bad laugh behind it to make that shit funny. Because uh, I, I told him that, like, bro, you could take, you can tell, like, a lot of these shitty jokes and a lot of people will enjoy them. Because uh, some are also cliches that fucking even this white dude Brian uses. And it's like, gay. Your jokes are lame, bro. They're not even good. They're, eh, leave it to the professionals for when it comes to Brian. But um, Brian with the Y, not the homie Brian with an R-I. Difference. Big difference. But um, either way, though, uh, I told Mike, though, you should do that and just laugh behind that shit. Do a signature laugh. Do your laugh and just ride that train. Ride it to the top, baby, because you'll fucking make it happen, dude. Trust me. I know he will. It's, it's, it's look, appearance, the way you throw your body in. He'll, he'll do it. He'll make it. You know what I'm saying? Um... But anyways, though, that being said, the homie Brett happened to look up at our podcast and the shitty ones. They're in, the, they're in the garage. I'm in the garage with the homie Mike. We're doing garbage rapping. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of rapping. I've done it maybe a few times on here, but, um, you know, I can rap. But maybe if we do rap on here, it has to be real polished shit. Or I don't know, you know. Sometimes I don't think this is that podcast. I can make another channel for that shit. If you want to be afraid that two motherfuckers are just going to spontaneously start rapping in your ear, 
you'll go to that podcast to hear me and Mikey do horrible raps. Sometimes really good bars. I'm not going to lie. And then sometimes Mikey shocks the shit out of me with his... He'll be like doing some... And I'm like, oh man. Who the fuck invited Springsteen in this bitch? Or, huh? or that one... Ha 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 baby. I'm wondering why. How I want to be with you. They'll freak me out and do some shit like that. I'm like, bro. Bro, you sound fucking good, bro. I like when you do that rhythm shit. Because, you know, I'll, I'll rap, I'll be like, nowadays everybody want to sing. Like, they back to the same. <laughs> you know, I'm doing all that shit, just a bunch of gibberish. But um, but then he'll be like, and then I took a stroll into the moon. And, you know. I couldn't keep my knocking and shit, and I was like, God damn, I, I like how you put in that fucking soul some twang up in this shit. I was like, all right, I feel it, I feel it, you know. If he if he, he can do good genre shit like that, you know, his reggae shit, but damn it, man, it does suck. It's horrible. It's garbage when we put on the pub. But um, I don't care. I left it anyways because Brett doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's not doing this shit. Brett, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you see this shit, fool. That'd be fucking hilarious. Mm. Ah. That being said, though, um, you know, he watches a couple videos. The lamest videos that he could pick, especially with me being in the fucking garage. I hate those videos. Um, but I leave them up anyways to, to remind me that uh, the Greg G Chronicles has grown and is growing and I'm still trying. You know, I try to... I'm a misogynist, dude. I say shit. You know, I say man shit. You know, sometimes I'm like, you know why that person fucked up? My lady knows. And so she's like, she's, and I'll look at her, you know, I don't know why that person fucked up. And she'll look like, why? Because she was a woman. And I'm like, yes. And then, um, uh, but no, man, truth be told, I'm a nice dude. I respect women to the fullest because, again, Raised by a bunch of strong women who've done a bunch of strong, amazing things. So, uh, it's easy for me to shit on dumb bitches. I just feel it. I don't know why. It's just is what it is, right? Um, but it's growing. But anyways, the fucking, um, the homie Brett was like, your videos are garbage. And I'm like, I know they're garbage. You don't think I don't know this? If it's perfect, I think it's perfect. That's crazy. I'm, you know, I don't ever think she's perfect. Even when I feel good about it, I always find something to be like, nah, 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 never mind, never mind. You know, oh, oh the insecurities, all oh, the fucking, also the non, also the insecurities and also the dumb shit that I'm confident about, which is all of it and none of it at the same time. You know what it is, right? Um, but then this fool comes up to me a couple of days later and he's like, bro, I saw your video. And I was like, oh, really? Which one? And he says, the one where you do the salt smelling one. This one right here. About 12 inches from your nose. And away. You can close, it says to close your eyes so you don't burn your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fuck! That was like chlorine to my whole <laughs> nose. Smell it over here. I do my thing. You are, as you guys saw, I do my salt smelling video. This is where he's like, Dude, now that was a good video. And I'm like, really? That's the video? And I mean, I get it. It's like a fucking 10 second, 17 second video. Short, sweet, get to the point. You get to see me go, ah, you know, you get to see my reaction. Oh my God, dude, my balls sink on down to the floor. It felt like, dude, I don't know. It was just insane because you can't see it. But I shit you not, when it hit me, it felt like a, a small breeze went and like blew my hair like of stink. But once I really opened it, whoosh, dude, that shit fucking singed my nose hair, brought my shit back. It'd be like a cartoon if I look left and right, all my hair would be spiked standing backwards and you'd be like, I'd be like, oh my God, it, it was insane. Um, but uh, cheers to that, that shit was dope. I kept picking. I was good to go. I was like, oh, man. Blah. Best worst cocaine I've ever had. And I've had some pretty great cocaine, by the way. And I've also had some pretty crappy cocaine, too. So, you know, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. But damn it, it worked. I was like, whoo. I was ready to headbutt the fucking wall, dude. 
break shit, lift shit, man shit, steak, wait, sleep, repeat. I was on Brock Lesnar shit, baby. It was Suplex City time is what it was. Ah. But I just started giggling because uh, that's what my homie Brett liked right there, right? And that's fine. People like a bunch of different stuff. I was like, you dick. So you like the one, well, not a dick because it's not, I didn't hurt myself in any way. But maybe I would call it, you would call it a uh, sensory overload or something like that. So I guess it causes some type of uncomfortable, uh, uh, there's some un level of uncomfortable, uncomfortability. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Look at me trying to say some words. Talking's hard. <laughs> but um, not as hard as reading. However, though, um, you know, it, it, it makes you uncomfortable. It looks different. It's funny. It's raw. And it's only 10 seconds to digest. Very, very much easier than this crap. And I don't think it's crap. It's just long-form content. It separates the smarties from the dummies. The 5 second, 10 second attention spans to the deep thinkers. See how it took me a second? I was like, Ugh. But, um, but really, no. It's just, uh, the funny thing is I was thinking, but I thought, I used to think all that shit back, back then anyways or in the way with all this streaming shit and shorts and TikToks and even the YouTube stuff, but, um, and long form versus short form content. However, though, uh, Brett, honestly, his thing wasn't anything attention span or nothing. It, it's bro shit. And my homie is a bro. So I know he's a fan of bro things. What are bro things? Sports. Beer. Harming thine self through manly ways. Now that could be smelling salts, um, hitting yourself in the dick on accident, or, you know, I don't know, just shit like that. Um, and I laugh at that because the homie l drinks beer, was a baseball player, almost D1 or maybe D1 if that's what I heard, something like that when we were chit-chatting. Um, Michigan State, I think, is where he went. <laughs> no, <laughs> he'd be... He'd, be, he'd go to Notre Dame. But, uh, but, uh, fuck, where was I getting at with this? I'm just, I'm just giggling because of, he's, he's a bro. And, uh, he was dubbed the most hetero person in the warehouse, surprisingly. Uh, I was shocked. And again, shocked. Voted the most hetero, <laughs> likely to succeed a row in the warehouse. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, definitely, you know, I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't say nothing about that, you know. I didn't even cut the top five, but oh well. Flow head. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, that was that, you know, and um, it was, it was cool. It was good. It was good to know the shit sucked, what shit worked. You know, the feedback. I really appreciate the, the raw feedback. You know what I mean? It's tough to get real raw feedback from your friends. I want raw feedback. I don't want you to fucking tell me, dude, that shit's great. It's amazing. No. Tell me a fucking suck. Tell me something different. Not from any of the people out here, you know, but my genuine people that I see every day, my friends, my folks, you know, let me know. But the beauty is who the fuck of them really watch it. Because, again, you don't want to hear your friend talk. Boo. Except for the real homie. Shout out to the real homie. Shout out to Mike. Ah. Shout out to you, buddy. But I'm going to go get another drink. I shall be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. And this time I got myself a nice little Monaco. Ooh. Delicious. End of the glass it goes. Drippy, drippy, spilly. Uh. Let you guys hear that nice clank. Oh. So anyway, so that brings me on to my thing, to silly thoughts. I've just been writing thoughts down, you know, trying the best I can to get into the, um, the habit, forming that muscle memory. Because when you're going throughout your day and you don't do that, and you're a funny person, and let's say you're trying to do stand-up sets or podcasting, write that shit down. You know, I work. I work hard. I had to get on some people because they don't work as hard or like they just don't, they want to find excuses to avoid doing the hard work sometimes, you know, and uh, 
it happens, but I, I'm not gonna let that shit happen. I'll, you know, I'll let it slide. I don't want to be a dick too much and hound, so I just hound enough and then I let it go and let it ride. But then sooner or later, I'll see it and it's like ah, nothing's changed. So now you have to be yelled at. And one thing I hate more is when you know. I mean, I try to depending on if I don't like the tone, I'll give a smart ass response. But no. I'm trying to just do my thing, you know, but, uh, uh, but the homie just needed to be yelled at because he was going to give me some smart ass response like a young person does. And it's like, no, what I'm, what I'm going to hear is a, a, a response of, uh, I'm trying to help him out, blah, blah, blah. But no, I need you to not help him out. He, he can finish his own stuff and finish faster without you slowing him down. And you know what? If he can't do it, then he shouldn't even be on that. He should be cleaning with you, with the lower ranking or slower person. And, um, you know, I don't want to hear no stupid young person talk back about how you want to avoid doing real work like cleaning. Cleaning's real work. Get to it. So um, that was that. We had our tip. But uh, other than that, uh, back to silly thoughts. I don't know why that shit pissed me off. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I write down my silly thoughts. But I work hard so I can have the time to write that shit down. Boom, 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 you know. Write it down. Ooh, old school's playing in the background. I just got to the part where um, the college professor sees the girl that he fucked last night and it happens to be his boss. It's Dean's daughter. And he's like, oh my God, I just busted a nut on that chin. The butt chin. She has a butt chin in the show. Um, but anyways, um, silly thought right there. She's just pointing out her butt chin, her flaw. It's not really a flaw. It's a... It's a flaw. Um, but anyways, though, the silly thought I just had actually was the most recent one um, was on the TV I was just watching and it was the Desperate Housewives. Now, my lady watches all that girl shit and I enjoy watching it with her, you know, aside from my, because before that, you know, I would just watch bullshit. My favorites are adult animations. No, not hentai and tentacle porn. I don't watch that shit. Have I jacked off and busted nuts to it? Yeah, of course. The fuck am I? A fucking kid? Pfft, no, I'm an adult. Porn is porn. I'm gonna watch what the fuck I wanna watch. Is that my main thing? No. No. But, you know, damn well, I've seen a fucking... A fucking good porn shit. And you know what? It reminds me of, like, when I'm fucking a bitch and my shit is going up in there hella deep, you know? And, uh, like, you can feel it, like, when it's in there. But then you feel that extra, you're like... Mm. You feel it where it's like in here, but then you feel it go, and you feel her shit like ripping or spreading more to like be able to take your dick. It's not like it's spreading more, but it's like you're you're unsticking those two pages that were stuck together with your dick, and you know ripping it in there to get up in there. You know, big dick issues, shit like that. Shout out, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say. Um, Black dudes, you guys don't have to shout me out, but thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> but for all my big dick, average dick niggas, yeah. <laughs> but but thank you. So anyways, that leads to me with my silly thoughts again. Desperate Housewife comes on. And now I'm just watching it. And this mom does with the fucking unforgivable, some unsacred shit right here, some foul shit. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, no, okay, no, hold on. I thought I had to charge my computer for a second. Whew, that would suck if it just died. Okay, but the mom in Desperate Housewives goes through, uh, what would you call it? She, she goes through the things of what mom's doing. She wants to be with her babies. So what the fuck does this stupid bitch do? And totally fuckable, dude. She could get rammed hard. You know what I'm saying? Totally. I mean, they, you'd have to be a legitimate asshole to just say, no, I wouldn't fuck her. They're, no, no, I wouldn't. That would bother me. That's how I know you'd lie and you'd be the first person to fuck her. But um, uh, she goes to the dorm. Surprise! Walks in. Now, it's all probably scripted. Okay, now, Cheryl, you're going to walk through. You're going to go through the door I'm like, yo, oh my God, I was ready to party. Because that's what she does. That'd be like my dad. Hey, 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 who's ready to do some lines and fucking party? Because I have done lines with my dad. Shout out, dad. You're the fucking man. Um, we've done a couple lines together. Raider games, houses. 
Yeah, <laughs> my dad's dope as fuck. But um, do some father-son rails. <laughs> but um, mom goes in there and son. They show the son. His face is like, what the fuck? He's on the phone. He's shocked. He's like, oh shit. Um, yeah, clearly not. Please. The boy looks like he wants to cry with how angry he is. He is like, mother, how can you do this to me? How can you show up to my dorm with all these fucking dogs who are my friends? And some who are my friends, but they call themselves my friends, but they're not really my friends. Mom, they'll fuck you. They'll fuck you real quick as soon as I turn my back. I was like, oh, no. Oh, God. Trust me. You know? And um, I was just, you know, and the reason my mom's beautiful, like, again, and this shit just happens. God damn it, man. I feel bad for these niggas. But this nigga, but I'd be that one guy. I'm not your fucking friend like that, homie. I'm your dorm guy. I'm your... I'm your dorm brethren, bro. So, uh, don't let your mom have a few fucking drinks around me, homie, because I'm going to fuck your mom, dog. That's how I would have been in college. If I was one of his fucking stupid friends that wasn't really his friend like that, I'd be like, dude, psh, mission for the weekend, mission for the week, forever, how long your mother is there, try to fuck her. Try to do something to get my dick wet. And I'm just stating the truth because... Your college kids, dude, you know, and, uh, hold up. <coughs> ah, thank you, Pope. I'm not good looking now, God. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I'm blessed. Bless me. <laughs> but, uh, but no, man, it's just because, okay, look, and the reason I mentioned that is because, uh, I, I, I would just joke around and say, oh, yeah, she'd get fucked, you know, totally fuck her. Oh, yeah, fuck fucking, I would totally fuck blah, blah, blah's mom, or I'd fuck her, blah, blah, blah. Trust me, dude, that shit goes with homies and friends like that. It's fucked up, but they do that. We do that shit. You know, when you're with your bros, your boys, your fucking folks, your goons, your squadron. Um, but uh, the reason I, I know she wants to get digged down is because she even shows up and she's like, <laughs> she's back's all tight and titties are all out and she has some nice googly boogly up and shit she's looking good and fit and I was like ah oh, bitch you're a fucking 40 to something 40 to 50 year old mom who looks good for her age who looks real good who can get fucked so I was like oh no no wonder this boy's having a heart attack he doesn't want his mama loose with all these fucking uh fucking uh what do you call them day raping motherfuckers but uh be honest, you don't need to day rape that woman. She's going to be in it. She's going to push into the pill. She's going to drug both you guys just to fucking fuck and then, you know, go back and be like, yeah, I had a good time at his college. He did great. You know? Meanwhile, she sucked off the whole other fucking fraternity. <laughs> and that's the sick fucking thoughts I was thinking about this bitch. When, and this when she walked in and it got worse and when she fucking arched her back and Brought out the fucking sweater girls, the sweater hams up in there. I was just like, damn. But, um, but yeah, that was that. Um, another one, uh, pineapples, I guess. <sighs> pineapples are dope. They produce nice in his, I think that's the one. Or maybe it was the bananas when they rent rot. But I think it's the pineapples. Um, but pineapples create nice in, which I guess boosts your testosterone. Look it up. I don't know. Google it. This is some shit that, you know, someone told me. And I didn't want to Google it. But I liked what I was hearing, so I wrote it down. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, it's a great G Chronicles. They're facts. Sometimes there's not. Sometimes I'm just saying shit. I'll tell you when it's when. But this one is just one of those where I, I heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend. So now I'm messing around. But, um, but, uh. So I'm watching the part right now in old school where the fat dude falls through the, the man drain, the man sewer, the manhole, because they all put the ropes around their dick to tie to the bricks, and he had the fucking short one. So yeah, I got distracted. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but um, anyways, though, I thought oh, that'd be pretty dope, you know. I, plus, you know, I, I need the pineapples because pineapples will do two things. One, you're going to get all yoked up on fucking testosterone. Blah! You know, you're going to fucking rage out. You're going to be wanting to fuck bitches. Um, 
So at least since you're eating pineapple, not only are you going to get the testosterone, but you're going to make your little testy swimmers taste delicioso for the beaches. Yeah. So I was like, all right, there we go. There's a twofer for pineapples. Make you stronger, get you more enraged um, to pound the bitches and to, to live your life. And yeah, your shit tastes good for the ladies. Or men. Or men. I don't want to fucking judge. Or they, them, those who were then that. Yeah, I think I got that one right. Hell yeah. Cheers. Ooh, I don't get it. Ooh, I really don't get it. Oh, on this. This right here. Ah. Delicious. Tasted more masculine. You know what I mean? Tasted like a man's drink. Jack Daniels, number seven brand, Tennessee whiskey made with Coca-Cola. This, however, this, a premium mixed drink mixed with smooth, clean finish. Mixed with the clean served on the rocks. Oh, uh, it's mango peach, but I don't know what it contained. Premium drink. Oh, vodka. See, this is vodka. No wonder it tastes different. I was like, ooh. And I'm not a vodka person. I should have tasted it, but... With all the sweet mango-y shit, I can't really tell. But, well, I knew it wasn't tequila. I mean, you know, I'm Mexican. I would sniff that shit out real quick. Um, but I, I, I would much rather drink this one over this one. Just because uh, I'm not a vodka guy. I'm a whiskey, tequila, rum, brandy. Uh, Hennessy or cognac, I'm 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 that guy. Vodka is like my least favorite, but I'll do it. I'll do it still. I mean, I didn't really get a taste for vodka till chilling with my fucking cuzzo buzzo Sergio, and we would fucking drink every night vodka, do 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 shots all the time. We were like fucking pit bull, two pit bulls up in the bit, shot shot shot, and um, everybody. But uh, <coughs> anyways, that was that. And further news, this is one the homie Mikey brought me, which I thought was fucking genius. Amazing. Simply amazing. Um, he was talking to me about a guy named Chupa. Chupa mi verga. But you know what? Let's see. I'm going to hope that I can find it. So I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that. i got to look at the time just so I know when to put the video on to sleep because I do this shit all the time. Um... Let's say I put the video up now. Sorry, I'm going to butcher the same. Chupa Niberga is uh, 27. <laughs> Just so you guys can get it, you know, and I hope you guys saw it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Other than that, because if I didn't put the video up if, and if I forget or can't get it, it's just going to be me pointing at the camera, a pause, nothing, and then it's done. That reminds me of when, like, on one of my last two episodes or whatever, I said, all right, you guys, and now please enjoy the outro song by Amy Lynn and the the Honey Men and no outro song ever played. I was like, son of a bitch. I forgot I do an outro song and I just said, here's the outro song. <laughs> then there's no outro song. I was like, son of a bitch. I felt like fucking scream. He was like, I gotta stop drinking when I do this. So I was like, fuck, man. But, um, it is what it is. It happens, right? Um, fuck it. Suck my dick. <laughs> Cheers to that. Suck on my tongue. <laughs> my Dalai Lama. <laughs> oh, horrible. Horrible motherfucker. Spiritual, but horrible. Um, but anyways, though, um, that was hilarious, Chupa Mi Verga. He actually bypassed the whole news. He got past the person he spoke to to get the interview, to say, hey, it's my birthday. I don't know how the fuck he is that important. He was a Mexican cat, dude. You know, I'm not saying that Mexican folks aren't important. We are important. Uh, but he's a guy. A Mexican guy. Not the race, not the everybody. A guy. Just one guy. How he got onto the news, San Antonio News, 
if I believe so from remembering the story. How the fuck does he get on there? How the fuck does he do that to be that special? And I was like, fuck, dude, he must be like the son of the best field worker or the father of 70 kids or some shit. You know what I mean? I don't know. But good for that man to bypass everybody. Dude, there has to be a fucking... A fucking... Uh, person in there who speaks Spanish. You would think it's San Antonio, Texas, I think. In San Antonio, Texas, dude. There had to be someone in there in that news team. Unless it's all white folks, black folks, Asian folks. And people who don't speak a lick of fucking Spanish. You know? No one who ever hung out with friends or Mexican people who... who who said, oh my God, chupa mi verga, what's that mean? And suck my dick, you know? But, uh, suck my dick, I mean suck my dick. Chupa mi verga, for some people who don't know, means suck my dick. So his first name was Suck, last name, my dick. And, um, or middle name would be my, I don't know. But it was amazing. I applaud this man. He's a fucking true man of genius. A true Mexican hero. Holy shit, I'm watching Old School right now. Again, still, and this is the part where this guy, um, Andy Dick, if you guys haven't seen Old School too, all the youngest people, go watch it. Andy Dick is um, a head movie ahead of his time. He's cross-dressing right now, so he's not transgender. He's just a cross-dresser. Um, maybe he would transi transition now. Oh, old School ahead of the time, even though it's old school. Or maybe they were just so old school, people didn't care. But um, it goes to the part where it's a... Dick sucking competition. Oh my god, he's about to choke out the he she. Oh, he's choking out the fucking she he. Um, she he's actually an elementary school that is in my city, so that's not anything. It's just a funny coincidence. Oh, Andy Dick flips him, hits him. Bow. The fucking cross dresser, cross trainer hits him with the pot. Bow. Andy Dick, what a savage. Um, anyways, though, no one was there to say, hey, you know his name is Suck My Dick in English, right? But no, they probably did it. So, uh, a drink to a real Mexican of true genius and class. Let me pause this real quick. Now then, though. Well, that was amazing. Awesome. My, uh, TikTok feed has gotten even better now. Um, to be honest, it's... <coughs> TikTok has been lacking for me. TikTok fucking sucks. I hate TikTok with a fucking passion. With a passion. I'll go on it. Just to see what I can find. You know. Just to see what's up. What videos can I see maybe to use. Because it's not always a video podcast. You know. But uh, if I find something, I'm going to use it. I don't give a fuck. I found a couple things. I'm going to, hopefully I got all these videos in here for you guys. Um, if not, hey, fuck it, it's the Gretchen Chronicles, baby, it is far from perfect, it will never be perfect, and that's what's perfect about it, it's that stupid fucking song, um, oh, what's that stupid song, I love you, you're perfect with all your imperfections, uh, Delilah, probably Missy Elliott, um, hey there Delilah, or, or you know, or one person who probably sung some douchey-ass music like that. That's what it is. You know what I mean? My perfect imperfection. It's some Bruno Mars shit for the younger people now, for the newer folks, you know? Putting my pinky ring up to the moon, goddammit. I'm gonna fucking be there. To the moon! If not, I'll just smoke myself there. Astro project myself onto the moon because I'll be so fucking high and ahead of the game. But, um... Uh, but anyways, though... Uh, my TikTok feed has been amazing. It, normally what I like to watch on TikTok, you guys, I don't know what your algorithms are. Um, it's people getting slapped in the face. I want to see fights. People talking shit. Um, you know, working stuff too. Because I'm a working man, so I like to see people doing their craft. You got the fucking fastest nail gunner. It's like, da 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 Shoots a nail, blow, hits the thing, kills a bird. Gets fucking... Shot into the birdhouse and it's all done. There's a dead bird in there. Magnifique, right? Um, so, there's that. Um, yeah, bitches will pop up because, you know, Reggie like, loves the bitches. 
um, why can't every woman end up being my wife uh, on some fucking classic man shit <laughs> but hey it is what it is right I'm a guy huh? but I'm dope anyways though um, it's been getting amazing I normally I told my lady like I'm not I'm not one for watching bitches shaking their ass you know what I mean personally to me it's talentless tasteless um, I want to see talent behind it you know what I mean like uh, yeah bitch can do yoga or whatever but that's not really even yeah, come on you know what you're doing with those tight ooh tight pants probably pussy wet a little bit so there's a wet spot there gives the camera something to look at or focus on right mm. it's too easy you know what I mean I don't even like those uh, like I really won't I'll watch it for a second alright but nah skip gone you know sometimes it's like okay no another one now I'm just whatever right give me something dope give me some uh, crackheads I love watching crackheads meth head heroin addicts spazzing out I love that shit that's my shit right there give me a fucking tweaker a twacky doing wacky ass shit I'm all there I'm in it to win it I'm glued to the TV to, the, to my screen you know but TikTok for some reason put up something amazing and it was educational which understands why you can do it but I scrolled through my TikTok feed scrolling up and oh shit let me let this stupid cat out because cat's dumb here come on cat there you go Oh, but he's so fucking luxurious. He's a big black cat. He's His name is Lorenzo, Lucifer Lorenzo, the Italian stallion, and he almost fucked up my whole camera set right now with a, put him in a plastic bag and suck the air out. No, not really. It's not my cat. I can't do that. <laughs> but um, my TikTok feed, pull, I pull up and there's black titties. In the words of uh, Al Madrigal, me gusta chichis negras. You know, because he's like, te gustas chichis negras? Because he's a dude, he's a Mexican dude who can't speak Spanish, but he's trying to uh, relate to his day laborers. Now, maybe it could be a joke, probably didn't never happen, right? Never. But he's like, hey, we can all bond over some nice big black titties or big nice black titties, right? Um, some people are like, no, no, Greg, no, no, black dicks are my thing, no, no. When you see some free titty, you gotta take it, when you know what I mean, take it when you get it, especially when you're not gonna expect it. So, black titties are on my thing, I'm like, whoa, I scroll up, <laughs> but then I scroll back down, I'm like, bring that back over here, and I'm just like, pfft, sweet, titties of all kinds, little ones, big ones, perfect ones, big old ones, Flop, and I was like, oh man, I love them all. I was like, God damn it, beautiful. So I was like, awesome. TikTok is finally getting your boy. And then later on, something even double, triple more amazing happens. The most newest, fantasticest freaking sport I've ever seen is called RXF Slap, I believe. RXF Slap. Now, for all my male viewers and lovely lesbians out there are people who enjoy female bodies and all their fucking sexiness you know shout out it's basically an ass slapping competition where these fat booty bitches actually and bitches booties of all size, sizes you know you got the fly weights you got the bantam weights you got your fucking metal weights welter weights your fucking probably your heavy weights welter weights you got your super heavy weights you know what i mean but you got to have booty or some type of thing you know the booty cracked and stick your nose in it and sniff that booty and uh, you know what I mean but uh, it's amazing because it's a sport so not only can I fucking perv out again which is why I like ladies football league but I can appreciate the form because I love boxing I love boxing um, boxing UFC WWE in a way still you know what I mean I fucking love that shit I love sports football basketball hell baseball eh you know, the, but, um, hell, even, you know, NASCAR, just to even say, but just because it's a sport, because there's techniques to it, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? So, um, this is Big Booty Chick, you know what, here's the video right here, ding! Booty Slapping Part 2. Dragilor, vă 
vă propun să vă alegeți o poziție perfectă de vizionare. Da? Cei care nu o au, vă deplasați acum. Sau cereți schimbarea camerei. Haide! Alexandra! E despre tine. Wow! Spah! That was a booty slap! Ia să vedem Roxana! Mm. 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 Yeah! <laughs> am impresia sau... Nu, n-am nicio impresie. Amândouă s-au înroșit cum trebuie. Cred că intrăm în... Uh, în zona aceea în care una dintre ele va renunța. Hai, Alexandra! Este șansa ta! Sandu! And um, so there's the video. Um, it's amazing. Did you see when the girl, one girl goes with a downward slap? Wham! Like she's dunking a basketball on that ass. Smack! And then you see how the other one, the other one I liked it. I got to stand up because I like it. She goes, wham! She's like, wham! She's like, huh! She goes, she, you see how she turns it like she, huh! She really turns, gets some hips. From the elbow, ground up from the left, wham! And if you see the extended cut, she even goes, ha, ah, all right, let me get this. Ah, yeah. I was like, oh my God, dude, this girl's gonna fucking smack her. And you know, um, I show one of my homie Kyle, one of my homies, I show my homie Kyle and his fucking pervy ass, like, send that to me, bro. And I was like, oh, I fucking will. He's like, fuck yeah, I got boys, I got friends, they need to see this shit. And I was telling all the guys in the warehouse, I was like a fucking child. I was like, ah, running up. Ah, did you hear? Did you see? Huh? This fantastic new sport called RXF Slap. RXF Slap. Check it out. Must see. Go watch. Tremendous sport. Tremendous. Um, I watch it every time when I'm in prison behind bar. Tremendous sport. The way that um, Asala Ali, the way she just punches the ass. Truly incredible. But um, Kyle, though, with his expertise and booty ass slapping himself, I guess, <laughs> or watching women slap their ass, was like, man, dude, because one girl goes from the bottom up, you know, she goes with the from a from a down up smack, not a up to down smack, you know, from top to bottom, you go bottom up, boom. But um, she uses this hand. So, you know, picture an ass cheek, you know, and that girl's ass, you go wham. But, um, He was like, oh my God, dude, it looked like she gripped, she got her a little bit in the fucking cooter, in the, in the, in the, fuck, what did he call it? What the fuck did he call it? In the, the gooch, the groin, the, the pussy-ish area, you know what I mean? Where that fold and flap on meet, you know how a girl has a booty flap where it flaps in and the thigh, the leg, and the side pussy lip all touch? Um, I forget what that's called. Um... But she ends up at the slow motion replay. Wham! Freaking does it. And you can see her do it. If you saw the video, you saw it. If you just saw it. If you made it this far of the podcast. But holy shit, that is the best part. Because uh, they have instant replay to this. And um, and this dude, Puerto Rican dude, new dude, cool dude, Tomas, like him, he's cool. Um, until he's not. <laughs> But, uh, But uh, he was like, dude, do, do they have the the bloop bloop? And I was like, oh my God, I lost it. Do they have the bloop bloop? And I was like, they have the bloop bloop. And basically, I knew what he meant by the bloop bloop. It's basically like bloop bloop. You know when water falls into the, when drips of water fall into not moving, non-moving water. And you see the ripple effect. I knew exactly what he meant. Uh, I just thought that that shit was the funniest way to put the jiggle of a net. Does it have the bloop bloop? And I was like, it has the bloop bloop. The bloop bloop. Yeah, oh, man, dude. Um, so, yeah, check that shit out. Best sport. Newest sport. Sweeping the nation, you guys. Um, uh, you know, that's that pretty much. Um, you guys, I've had a great time chilling. It's going to end just like how it opened. Fast, short, quick. Long, I don't know. The Greggy Chronicles, man. It's it's my sex. It's the Greggy Chronicles is like my sex game. 
I can either come at you real quick, hella quick, real fast with these shorts, bang, bang, bang. I can give you some nice, long, slow strokes. You know, it is what it is. Um, up your sex game. Um, to everybody out there around the world. Um, Sweden, Poland, um, some of my African homies over there, you know. Um, uh, fuck, English people. My USA folks, number one. Still, even with our currency going down, we're still number one somehow. If this is what it's like with the currency going down so far, I'm not tripping. Let's hope that shit doesn't affect us too much. Um, with China and them trying to not use us as the number one dollar for oil and shit. But hey, you know, um, other countries were fine not being number one. I think we'll be fine not being number one, but still calling ourselves number one and feeling like we're number one because we're number one. It is what it is, baby. So uh, you guys have a good night. Cheers and I love you.